very good question. Such a good question. It's a difficult the question. The questions here, the questions in Mexico have been like very really good. like amazing. Yeah. yeah. You're Make a clever me, old bunch, yeah, aren't no, you? Yeah. He's a foot. Congratulations. Oh, serious and very excited to have a chance to talk with you about it. Thank you. And King B series says something very interesting in the first episode, and it's that the idea of the Targaryen controlling dragons, it's an illusion. And it's the same with power, it's an illusion. In this universe, uh, power is represented by an iron throne, but both dragons power this throne have the power to destroy the world. So, Matt, what do you think is the actual definition of power in this series, considering all these elements? Because I think it's very different even from Game of Thrones. It's a very good question. Such a good question. It's a difficult question. The questions question. here, the questions in Mexico have been like very really good. like amazing. Yeah. yeah. You're Make a clever me. old bunch, yeah, aren't I know, you? Yeah. Um, well, look, I think power in our show means a lot of different things to different people. To one person, it might be the ascension of the throne. To another person, it might be the domination of an army. To, to another person, it might be the domination of their relationship. You know, to my character, I actually think it's sort of slightly subverted. And I think to him, what he enjoys is, is obstructing power and creating sort of conflicts, however tiny or however large and then running into them head first. You know, that when you have a world where you have so many people who have so much ambition, it's very difficult to quantify what power is because, and who has it. You know, because in principle, Viserys should have the power because he's the king, but he lacks power and he lacks strength, as you say in the first episode, and actually um, Otto Hightower is pulling strings. And then you have sort of uh, Graham McTavish who plays uh, Harold Westerling who has power in his own way because he has power with his sword and he has power with his armor. Mm. And the dragons have, so there's, I, I, you know, I, I can't describe what I think that, there is no one definition of power in this. Yeah, yeah no, it's, that's why it's very interesting. Yes. yes. They show. The king has an heir, Daemon Targaryen. I will not be made to choose between my brother and my daughter. And House of the Dragon is set in a period of peace, I think 70 years of yeah. peace. And none of these characters have been in an actual war or in a big conflict, you know? So all these men, they are trying to prove their masculinity and their strength through very... Not all of them. Because Kristen Cole has fought. He For fought. example, your character. Yeah. Fought in the, well, he fought in the war. He fought in the Dornish marches. He's one of the only characters in the show who has. Um, but yeah, sorry, I, I don't no, know. No, no, no. So how would you describe these dynamics between uh, these men that they are like anxious to go to a war? I mean, there's a lot of, well, the, the, the last lady who came in, so it's a lot of testosterone going around, uh, which I hadn't really thought about before, but now it kind of feels evident. Um, so what's the dynamic between, between them in, in, in that sense? And how do they feel about going to war? Yeah. Well, I think, I think a lot of them are sort of trained soldiers and they probably feel uh, um, they feel they feel okay about the idea of going to war I would say wouldn't you it, it, it's it's not something that would feel completely alien to them they you know they're trying to raise armies but it but it but it's like you say we actually meet the Targaryens in a relatively peaceful time a woman would not inherit the Iron Throne because that is the order of things when I'm queen I will create a new order at the end of Game of Thrones, it was very controversial for so many things. And I think partly it was because uh, the fantasy elements took a second place and the political elements took the spotlight. Mm. And in this show, it is entirely a political drama and a family drama. And I think it's great because it's more human and you can understand and relate with that. It doesn't matter the 17 dragons, they look amazing, but <laughs> this is more a political drama. So. What do you think the audience is expecting from this show if you took the fantasy elements? Ultimately, it's a show about family, like you said, and every member of this family, an extended member of this family, has uh, their own wants, their own desires, their own ambitions. So that sets up an incredibly um, interesting world for the audience to come into. So I hope that, that you know, they get to see it uh, and then enjoy that, that dynamic. Um, and like Matt, say, Matt always says, you know, this is a, it starts, it's a very, um, what's the word you use? 
localized. Yeah, localized, which is a very good word. Yeah. Um, it's a very localized uh, story to start with, as opposed to the original show, which is, you know, everyone's coming from completely different worlds. Our show, everyone starts in one place. Well, it's hard, isn't it? Because, I, I, I mean, you're asking what the audience expect, and it's, it's difficult to second guess it. I mean, the source material is out there, if, if, you, if you want to understand what's going on. But whilst I think they're going to want it to feel and like it's delivered on some elements of Game of Thrones, it's, I think it's our duty and our responsibility to move the form and the storytelling forward a bit. And it can't be the same. We can't just recreate what was. So we've tried to forge ahead, and like Fabian said, it's a slightly more localised tale, which will build out eventually, but we're focusing on a family that we've never delved into before. And they're a really interesting family. They're mad as a box of frogs. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Good questions. What amazing questions. Yeah. My God, you really had me thinking.